how to do the basic troubleshooting so in order to do that first log in the machine service mode and uh, mode list copy here and function go to misc p so there are several settings which needs to be checked for the basic settings if it is a error or jam so first click the his print it's a call history print and click ok so it should print few pages which will have a clarity what could be an issue so let's print and check So I got a two pages of uh, the error report, jam error history report. So let us see how to read this file first, so that we would be in a position. What is an exact issue? This is the uh, report. So first you could see the device serial number. Then you have a jam lock. You have a error lock and you have a send error. Okay, so first let's. This is something really important. So the latest log will be captured on the top. One, two, three, four. Now I have four different jams with some interval. Okay, so let's pick one. So number two is roll number two and zero nine zero seven it's my date and month if you want you could cross check in your report on top and the time 18 6 the jam happened and the same time within 18 6 the jam has recovered and 00, zero it's the location so 00, zero is uh, ADF the feeder unit and this is an error code 106 we can check the service manual what is the error code so this 106 0106 will refer to particular uh, a sensor maybe the sensor is not reached or it is jam in the sensor we can we can cross check with the uh, service manual and 01 from which tray the paper is picked if you have multiple trays you'll have a 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 something like that and what is it at the time of the counter so how much count it has been taken at the time of jam and what paper size okay so uh, this is a ascending order letter date time in time out location main body or adf and this is a particular jam code and uh, which tray and what is the paper size sorry what is a counter and what's the paper size right the similar way alarm error also the same number one zero two this is the date and time in time out and alarm there is a different syntax so we can check uh, in the service manual as a part of troubleshooting process so the important next important factor is to troubleshooting the image quality issues so how to troubleshoot the basic setup to troubleshoot is uh, go to copier and you have a test and you have pg so the pg will have a different type of uh, numbers i think one to ten so it will give uh, different uh, print chat where you can cross check with your uh, real output is it something really happening because of machine failure or some other uh, causes okay now it is 
now the PG type is 0 so click OK let me change the PG type to 1 click OK now PG type is 1 then click start so you could see it's showing copying and I'm expecting an output so it's uh, it's kind of square outputs checkbox across so this will help you to find out whether your alignment is correct your registration is perfect now let's change it to 2 and click OK now type 2 is big click start and it's copying you can expect a different type of uh, chart now so I have this is called uh, the gradation from dark to light so it's, it's a pattern so similar way you have different types of reports which you can generate so it is easy for you to troubleshoot in a professional way